Hello and welcome to my video. Today's video is about um, many ways of charging your electric car. Um, I have two Teslas. Um, so I'm going to be talking about um, things that are related to my car for charging. But um, I wanted to uh, point out that nowadays whenever you purchase a brand new Tesla, it only comes with a um, uh, an adapter that allows you to plug into a J1772 but it doesn't come with something like this um, this one right now is currently sold separately and it costs $250 uh, that's one of the reasons why Tesla is able to lower their prices for their vehicles so anyways what do we have here so if I open this I have a couple of things um, Basically, um, I have a, a 22 in uh, 22 feet uh, cable. It's 22 feet long, and it is a uh, NACS connector that is compatible with with your Tesla. Um, the power that comes into this this is, by the way, an EVSE or charging connector, and not the charger. The charger is inside the car. Anyways, it has two ways to draw power. One is this one, which, which is the J7 um, uh, NEMA 1450. Then this one here is your regular 120 volt. This is 240. So if you if your um, if your connector is connected to a 240 volt uh, connector or a wall outlet, you're gonna be charging faster. This one here is a little bit slow. But, you know, it's consistent. One of the popular questions online is, uh, can you keep your car plugged in using this? You know, for example, you go on vacation and then you plug your car in um, using any of the, you know, the, the whole set. The answer is yes. You can just leave it there. No problem. Especially for Tesla because this is made for Tesla. So um, there's no problem with uh, it not uh, working when it's connected because all it does is draw power from your wall you know uh, the electricity and brings it to the uh, onboard charger of the car and then the car will decide when to charge the battery and when not to charge the battery one thing that still comes free of charge uh, with a new tesla is this this is called the j1772 to uh, NACS connector uh, basically it's an adapter it allows you to charge your Tesla which is this side using the traditional uh, J1772 uh, that was popular you know in the uh, before 2000 I think before Tesla became popular so uh, now Tesla is uh, becoming more and more popular for charging because there's so many superchargers Anyways, you use this when you have a connector like this. So this is your adapter right here. And this is your J1772, sorry. Um, the J1772 without this will will also work with non-Tesla electric cars. Like for example, the ones made by Hyundai or uh, Ford or Mercedes-Benz or BMW. There's so many um, uh, electric cars nowadays. But they still haven't adopted officially the um, the NACS. So the the standard that they, they use is the J seventeen seventy two, which is this one. And this is your comparison of the J seventeen seventy two and the NACS. Now uh, I wanted to point out that this two hundred fifty dollar kit, this one here, um, it this is um, decent um, as long as you have. Uh, a wall outlet for NEMA 1450. For a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, um, if um, you're charging using this, it takes about, uh, it gives you about 30 miles of charge of driving range every, uh, every hour. So 30 uh, miles per hour. Um, and this is sufficient for um, most owners. But uh, other owners, they prefer faster charging because, you know, they use their cars often. And I can understand that. So um, they use uh, level two, which I'm going to talk about shortly. Now, if you have this, this is the um, 
your regular household outlet you can use this to plug to your wall i think you can also use uh, a regular extension code cord but um i prefer not to use uh extension cord whenever i charge using this uh you know it's for safety reason uh, i could be wrong but i'd rather be safe um the other thing is that if this is this is slow it gives you oh maybe about uh, uh five or ten uh, miles uh per hour of charge so it's gonna take forever to charge your uh, electric car because the electric car is a big battery if you need to charge up that big battery it takes a long time also if you are plugged in like this you're gonna be using um even if you have an electric uh plan at home um where you know you the the what's this the rate per kilowatt hour is lower at specific times of the night you're going to be needing to get plugged in to this the whole time entire time even if the um even during peak hours so it's best to use this one so by the time so you can time your your charge only when the electricity is a lot cheaper so that is for the um level two this uh Maybe this level too, but this is um, a lower rate, uh, lower amperage. That's about for this um, kit. This kit came with my 2018 Tesla Model 3. Nowadays, it doesn't come with any new Teslas. You have to buy them separately for about $250 uh, plus tax. So that's still a good deal. I, and I highly recommend that uh, you, you have at least this because um, it's good when, when traveling. Uh, for example, we recently went to Las Vegas, and in the parking lot, I was able to find a um, a um, an outlet for this. So I was I, I was charging free of charge, free of charge, no pun intended, uh, while we were sleeping because um, it's in the parking lot. Um, but you know that's personal preference. Now I have another way. Uh, it's right there. This is the bag. Let me flip, flip it over real quick. This side here is uh, is a very good uh, rough material that sticks to uh, your carpet or the uh, interior of your car or the floor, so it doesn't uh, move around when while you're driving. So anyway, just a little feature. Okay, what else do we have? So like I said, I have another um, level 2 connector. And this is the J1772. I had, um, um, I had the option of using the Tesla uh, wall connector that looks like this. Uh, but I had to sell it because uh, I already had my own um, wall mounted um, uh, charging station. So I decided to just get rid of this. Even if, uh, you know, I highly recommend that you use this because it's very easy to use. And the, you know, the the, the, um, the connector is uh, a lot easier to manage. And uh, there's a button there that uh, automatically uh, controls and communicates with your car uh, when it opens the, uh, the door for plug. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't make this bad. This is also good. And I'm, I'm going to tell you shortly. So anyway, to summarize uh, the options so far under Tesla, they sell this wall connector. Uh, the reason this is universal is because uh, it comes with the J1772 and NACS, while this one here is dedicated to Tesla. So this is a little more expensive. And then this one here is this minus, minus this one. Um, so that's 250, this is 620, and then this 450. Uh, with this one here, it's a lot faster. Um, if this is 30, I think this is 40 or 50 miles per hour uh, for charge, uh, depending on your vehicle. I think this is uh, generally uh, for you. Know, let me see here if I can tag that. Oh, it's gonna. Let me see what it says here. $620. Okay, so it's about 44 miles range uh, per hour added. So that, not bad. It's a it's a 50 amp uh, output J1772 adapter. But what's interesting here also is that uh, there's no pigtail here that plugs into the wall. That's what I didn't like with the Tesla. I think they now come with a model that plugs into the wall like that. Because if um if your EVSE, I call this the EVSE, 
uh, if your EBSE can be unplugged or plugged into the wall, then you can take it with you when you move to another house. Or, you know, for example, you travel and then you're going to your uh, parents' house uh, cross country. Uh, you can bring it along. And then if you find an outlet like this, then you can uh, charge your car uh a lot faster compared to the uh travel connector that you have but you know that's personal preference so like i was saying i didn't uh, i preferred not to get the uh, wall connector uh, from tesla instead i got this one wall box um so far so good this is very good um although i think software wise tesla's is better but uh, otherwise you know it does its job for wall box it tells you um i'm able to charge my car and you can actually i'm i'm using my car's you know the tesla um, charging scheduler to tell it to charge only when the electricity is cheap meaning um uh, from 12 a.m to about 3 p.m um because this one here it's also got the logic but i you know i just keep it on that's also prefer personal preference another thing about this is that it comes uh, in addition to this plug-in, you know, right there, it also comes with a uh, 22, I think this is 22 feet long cable. So th that means that, you know, if you have a long driveway, you know, you can park your car outside and then uh, charge there. So that's another advantage. And this is how, you know, the connector looks like. It's a bit uh, bulky, and uh, but, but it's very sturdy because it's... Um, it's a solid rubber and it's very heavy. Um, this costs about $500, $550. Um, I got it used uh, from eBay and I saved about $100. Um, so like I said, it's personal preference. Uh, there's nothing wrong with buying used online. Um, usually it's uh, brand new and uh, the, the customer buys it doesn't even open the box and then returns it and that's it it's used so you save 100 and 150 dollars but you know like that's personal preference it's really up to you uh some people prefer the tesla i respect that uh i would have done the same thing if um i was only starting out uh, with uh, driving an electric car with tesla but i've been driving uh, an electric car for a long time even before the tesla i used to have a volkswagen that's why i got this one so anyways this video is about the charging options for your electric car, be it a Tesla or not, in your garage or home for that matter. You can do it in the driveway. Um, I hope uh, I'm able to help, uh, especially those who are adopting an electric car or new, the brand new Tesla for the very first time. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to plug in now and I can just leave this here um, plugged in without worry, having to worry about unplugging it. Have a great day. Bye.